Today, there's another word for us today. This is Pastor David Roy with a word from the word. Ephesians, the sixth chapter. We're going to start off at verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Turn to your neighbor right now, wherever you are. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, put on your spiritual P-P-E. Put on your spiritual P-P-E. A-A-Charge to to save and fit it for the sky who gave his son my to fulfill to who serve this present age my call Master's will, oh, 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 oh. may in all my power in gain. Ha <laughs> ha 
Again, put on your spiritual PPE. Paul, in his Paulinian letter to the church of Ephesus, wrote powerful words telling us that as believers, we need to put on the whole armor of God. The only way we're going to make it through the crisis that we are going through today as a nation and as a world, Jesus is the only message for this message. This world is in a mess. This world is in turmoil, but God can still put it back together again. But he tells us that there's something that we must do. The first thing he tells us in verse 11 is to put on. That means that we can do it. If he says put on the whole armor of God, that means that we are able to do it. He says put it on because this is how you will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The devil is cunning. He is tricky. He, he uses chicanery to cause us to believe a lie. The lie is that we're not going to make it. We're not going to survive. Everybody is going to die. But the, but the truth is this. Jesus said, I have come, John 10, 10, that you might have life. The thief cometh but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. But he says we got a match of wrestling that we must do. Verse 12, he said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. These are demonic spirits. These are demonic hosts. We are battling against a demonic host, but I'm here to let you know greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us and gave himself for us. The Bible says, wherefore, take up on ourselves the whole armor. Don't just put part of it on, but get the whole armor of God that you will be able to withstand in this evil day. Now, if there has never been a truth spoken, we are living in an evil day. The coronavirus has come in and invaded our midst. It has come in and invaded the world and caused great death, great destruction, great dismay. But I'm here to say in the midst of all of this turmoil, weeping endures for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. We don't know when morning is coming, but joy is still coming in the morning time. So we find here that he says, take on the whole armor so that you will be able to withstand in the evil day. And then he goes back and reiterates and having done all to stand, stand anyway. In the midst of your pain, stand. When you're troubled, stand. When you're going through trials, stand. When people talk about you, stand. And after having done all, stand. Stand in the Lord. The first thing he tells us to do, stand therefore having your loins girt about truth, the belt of truth. Put truth around you. His truth will be your shield and buckler. He said, put truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Now this righteousness is not the kind of righteousness that you think that I'm talking about. It's not the kind of righteousness that we can do. It's not the kind of righteousness that you have self-righteousness that you say that you can save yourself. It's the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We can put on righteousness. When we accept Christ as Lord and Savior, we can put on righteousness. Even though, yes, when we accept him, we are a sinner, but he can change us from sinner to saint by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so we are no longer sinner, but we are sinner saved by grace. And we are righteous in God through Christ Jesus. Your righteousness is not based on your deeds, 
but that doesn't mean you not you need to live like hell. But your your righteousness is based on what Christ has done. His finished work on the cross is what gives you as a saved believer the righteousness of God in Christ. So he says, put on the breastplate, the Lord, the breastplate of righteousness. Jesus righteousness, standing on his righteousness alone, faultless I stand before the throne. And then he says, put your feet, charge your feet with the gospel, the preparation of the gospel of peace. What does that mean? The gospel of peace, peace in the midst of a storm, peace in the midst of trial, peace in the midst of confusion. Jesus' peace is the kind of peace that was when he was on the boat and the storm began to rage. When the storm raged, the disciples, they were worried. They were disturbed. They didn't know which way to go. But the word of God says that when they could not make it on their own, they went down to the bottom of the ship and they said, do you care that we perish? And Jesus got up and looked at them and said, where is your faith? And then he spoke to the problem. He spoke to the storm. And he's speaking to our storm today. He said, peace, be still. And the storm was still. And they said, what matter of man is this? That even the winds and the waves obey him and heed to his word. He said, put your feet on with the preparation of the gospel of peace because he gives us perfect peace as our minds stay on him. And then above all, above all, he said, take the shield of faith. Now we see that we have the, we got our loins girded with truth. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which covers our organs, our heart area. We have the breastplate uh, we have on the uh, our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace so that we can walk in peace. But then we have armor that is defensive, that it will protect us from darts that the devil will throw because the devil is going to throw darts at you. He's going to throw accusations at you because the Bible said he is the accuser of the brethren. So the word says, take the shield of faith. What will it do? It will be able to quench the fiery darts that the enemy throws your way. But then we're not done with the armor yet. The 17th verse says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now, I don't know how you feel about the word, but heaven and earth will pass away. But God's word will stand. I don't care what comes and what happens in life. If you hold on to God's word, everything is going to be all right. Uh, the word says, take the helmet of salvation. But then don't just take the helmet of salvation. You're saved. But now you got to do more than just be saved. You've got to execute the promises of God You've got to speak the word of God out of your mouth. Look what he says, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Even in the midst of our pain, we are sick, but we got to say in the name of Jesus, we are made whole. We may be broke, but in the name of Jesus, we must say we are rich in Christ. And because of Jesus, we have all of the inheritances that the word of God, all of the promises that the word of God says we have. You can be what God says you can be. You can have what God says you can have. The devil says you're sick and that you're going to die. But Jesus said with his stripes, you were healed. Say you are healed. You is healed. I know that's not proper English, but you're healed by the stripes of the Lord. And so then he said, the sword of the spirit. And then finally, he said, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. He said, pray, pray until something happens. 
keep on praying in the midst of everything that you're going through. And he might not come. I said he might not come when you want him to. But I'm here to let you know that he's always on time. Jesus is coming through. He's not forgotten you in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our frustration, in the midst of death, in the midst of loss. He is still with us. He that keepeth ye Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. So if he neither slumbers nor sleep, I can get me some rest at night in the midst of everything that you're going through. Hold on and press on. And remember that God is a present help in time of trouble. Now, my brother, my sister, if you don't know Jesus and the free pardon of your sin, you can pray with me right now. Father, right now. Father, right now. I don't know you, the Lord Jesus. I don't know him. And I ask right now that I'll make him Lord. I want to make him Lord of my life. I want to accept him as my savior. I, I repent now of my sins. I ask for forgiveness and I come with godless sorrow. And I ask that you come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And make me whole. I know you can do it. And right now, right now, right now, you are born again. And God is real. God has become real to you. So just for a little bit, God is real. There are some things I may not know. There are some places I can't go. Oh, but of this one thing, oh, I know. That God is real, for I can feel him in my soul. Yes, God is real. He's real in my soul. Yes, God is real, for he has washed and made me whole his love for me is like pure gold yes god is real for i can feel him in my soul some folk may die some folk may scorn, all can desert and leave me alone. But as for me, I'll take God's part, for God is real and I can feel him in my heart. Oh, yes, God is real. He's real in my soul. Yes, God is real, for he has washed and made me whole. His love for me is like pure gold. God has been real, for I can feel him in my, my soul. God 
bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister.